understanding diabetes and its cure. When your body is no longer able to produce insulin at all or insufficient quantities, you are suffering from diabetes. Treatment of the condition is finding a way to supplement the production of the hormone so that your body no longer suffers from it. After you have been diagnosed with diabetes, you have your life all cut out for you. Now is not the time to be stubborn, willful or diligent in the interest of your own health. You want to pay attention to what the doctor has to say about your feeding and exercise habits. That is simply the smartest way around it. Suffering from diabetes works two ways. It is either you are not producing insulin or your body is not responding to it, depending on where the suffering is coming from. You want to pay attention to the treatment the doctor is giving you. It is often specific, specific to the nature of your suffering. When you suffer from diabetes, your organs are not getting as much glucose as they need, but no more that that is because the insulin hormone that is supposed to carry the glucose around and regulate its supply is lacking. You want to get that insulin back as much as possible. That is what the doctor treats you for. Your brain and muscles should never suffer from the lack of glucose. However, they also do not need to too much of it. When that happens, you are suffering from diabetes and you want to get treatment for that. Get a doctor. There are a lot of people in the world who suffer from diabetes and it is by no means the end of their lives. You only have to pay attention and you can be very comfortable with it when you have learned how to coordinate your living and your feeding. One of the treatments most commonly prescribed for diabetes is exercise. It is never easy because you are now doing it out of a lot of pain and it was the lack of such that got you here in the first place. However, you owe it to yourself to not just try, but make a success of it. Too much glucose in your body is diabetes for sure. It causes that the fat in your system to store up, and that leads to the pain and the difficulty of movement on the long run with exercise. You can keep it all from ever happening but you also need a healthy diet. If you have insulin being underproduced in your body, your system cannot control how much sugar of glucose is being passed around it. That is problem because it is where diabetes comes from. You want to be on the lookout for something of that nature. You cannot have the insulin produced by your body being ignored by the same body. However, that is what happens when you have no lead on your diet. If you let it spiral out of control, it eventually turns into diabetes and then you are in trouble. When you have too much glucose in your body, it is because you don't have enough insulin getting around. That happens for any number of reasons, but you, more importantly, you need to get it back in circulation. The consequence of that is a case of diabetes that you don't want to have to deal with. Trust me, when you have a diabetic living in your home, you have a lot on your plate. You need to begin working on the perfect diet of them with every meal and you also need to have a lock on what exercise sees the doctor recommends. Then you have to get on their case and make them do it because they often do not like to. The toughest kinds of folks to live with are old folks who are diabetics. They have, they have lived a whole lifetime that has gotten them into that condition and it's going to be hard to make them change for anything. So they tend to make caring for them rather a bore. But you've got to get a solution for them so that everybody can have peace. If you are serious about getting rid of diabetes in your body make sure you check out this site right here the site as is helping thousands of people in overcoming the problem of diabetes in their body you can check it out instantly by clicking the link in my video below